Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going over the implementation of Affine Cipher in Python. This video is going to complement the other video that I've already uploaded where I went through the definition of Affine Cipher and I gave an, a, a detailed example uh, of Affine Cipher for encryption and decryption. If you'd like a refresher, please go ahead and watch that video. If you're just here to learn about Pythonic implementation of Affine Cipher, uh, and you're already familiar with the fine cipher, uh, you're more than welcome to skip and uh, enjoy uh, this video. So uh, we can get started as usual uh, for encryption and decryption. We're working with uh, plain text or cipher text. So we have to define our plain text, which is the word smile. And uh, we need a mapping between English alphabet and numbers in mod 26 so we're gonna use a dictionary uh, approach uh, where we store the english alphabet and we associate a number in mod 26 to those values and uh, we can use the ascii encoding uh, in uh, python uh, there, there are two commands that we need to be familiar with chr command uh, which takes as an input a number um, and output the corresponding ASCII uh, letter. And uh, the reverse operation is done um, by the ORT command, which we don't need it, but I'm just going to mention it so uh, just you're familiar with it. So we can... Um, store this mapping in a variable called AM that uh, stands for English alphabet mapping. And uh, because we're using dictionary, we have um, our uh, key and the values that they correspond to here. I minus 97. The reason we choose 97 is that 97 uh, is the number that corresponds to letter A. And uh, we can complete this with the following code in range. So uh, starting from 97, because that corresponds to letter A, and then there are 26 letters in English alphabet, so we can just simply add 26 to 97, whatever that number is. And uh, just to make sure that we've done it correctly, we can print it. And we can see if we've done it correctly. So letter A corresponds to number zero and so on and so forth. Now, uh, it would be nice if uh, we have the reverse of this mapping. So our keys will be uh, numbers and they corris the, their corresponding values would be a letter in English alphabet. Uh, there are ways to get around it in Python. Um, uh, so you can change the uh, key and value, uh, change their positions. Uh, but just to keep things simple here, um, I'm just going to use the same command here, same code basically, call it a new variable called uh, eam underscore rev for reverse and making sure we're printing the correct thing and just going to switch the position of these two and this should be uh, giving us what we need so we see as key we have uh, numbers in mod 26 and they correspond to a letter in english alphabet and as our uh, for key uh, we uh, just uh, use uh, an ordered pair of numbers we didn't associate the letters to them which is fine and those are 5 and 18. We can store them in a list or a tuple. That doesn't matter, but we're just going to store it in a, in a list in this case. And we can display it to make sure that everything works fine. Now we need to change the letters uh, to corresponding numbers in mod 26. And that can be done very easily. We make a new variable called PT numbers for plain text and numbers and uh, using the EAM list that we've already made just going to show you a quick example so if I do EAM of let's say 0 it should correspond to 
uh, sorry, actually, it, uh, as an input, it must take English alphabet. So if I do a EAM of A, it should return zero. So we can just, if if I run this code, I for I in uh, plain text, um, this will simply give the plain text to us in a list. So our plain text was the word smile and uh, uh, using this uh, approach uh, called uh, list comprehension, we can get every member of the string uh, in a separate element of a list. And to get uh, the corresponding values in mod 26, we can simply call the EAM um, variable that we've already stored for I in DT, and we can simply display this new variable and we see that uh, we get the corresponding um, numbers in mod 26 for example letter s here corresponds to number 18 that's why we get 18 here as our uh, first element in the new list and uh, next uh, Given the definition that we've seen, we've seen for affine cipher, our encryption is uh, done by a function um, which takes as input uh, a, a x plus b. So a is the first element of the order pair, and b is the second element of the order pair. And we can simply get those values like this. Unpack our uh, list basically in the following way. So this should give us the first and second element of our tuple. Um, again, there are multiple ways of achieving this. You don't need to store it in a new variable A and B. Uh, you can just uh, use like values like key zero or um, even key one for B. Uh, but they, they all uh, have the same underlying idea behind them. So now uh, using that function, we can get our ciphertext in numbers. So first, uh, I'm gonna call a new, uh, make a new variable called ct numbers for ciphertext in numbers. We're gonna display it later. So uh, I hope you're familiar with the encryption function. So we just need a times i plus b where i is gonna be the members of the plain text in numbers so for i in pt numbers well uh these uh, uh we can see the values here uh but we we are interested in these values in mod 26 these uh, two steps can be done in in one step actually but for the sake of demonstration i'm i'm going over them step by step so we can simply compute these values in mod 26 which can be done very easily by this command in python or i in this time uh, we are interested in the elements of city numbers and we can run this code and uh, we get the values that we are interested. Now, to finish off the encryption component, uh, we need to uh, find their corresponding English uh, letter, and that would be that for the encryption component. And uh, to show you how that can be done, we have the EAM reverse uh, variable. If I plug in uh, a number uh, in mod 26, we get the corresponding uh, letter in English alphabet. So, for example, EAM uh, reverse of zero correspond to letter A. And uh, so we have all the elements that we need. We can find the cipher text. Um, very easily at this point, EAM reverse um, I for I in uh, CT numbers actually, ciphertext in numbers, and we can display our 
output and there we have it uh, we get the cipher text if you go back to the original video you can compare and see uh, um, they exactly match uh, which means that uh, the encryption uh, have been done correctly and to show it uh, in a nicer way we can use this command to put them together so that's it for the encryption component of our affine cipher and now in the second part we're going to see how we can do the decryption so given this cipher text without prior knowledge uh, of our uh, plain text smile and uh, let's say we don't even have this list available to us already how can we go or like even this list how can we go about uh, decrypting the cipher text given the key that we have so Again, we need to map our uh, text, cipher text, to uh, numbers in mod 26, which can be done very easily. Um, again, I'm assuming we do not have prior knowledge of our um, of the work that we've done so far, so we have to um, do the steps um, from the beginning. So first, we map the English alphabet to numbers in mod 26 can be done easily by the EAM uh, variable that we've stored using the dictionary method for I in uh, CT, which is our cipher text. And we can display the numbers, making sure we're doing it correctly. Just uh, as a sanity check, we can see that these uh, two lists, uh, they output the same values. So that's good. Um, the other uh, thing uh, we need to be aware for the decryption, we need to know the modular inverse of A. In this case, A uh, is uh, 5. That's the first element of our uh, ordered pair. So how can we uh, compute a multiplicative inverse uh, effectively, um, uh, sorry, eff efficiently in um, Python? Well, uh, actually, there is a nice command for it in Python. Um, it seems that uh, this is a new command, so um, I believe uh, it's been added since Python 3.8. So uh, anyways, um, we can use the uh, POW command, stand for power. Uh, and we are interested in the multiplicative inverse, so uh, negative 1 for the exponent in mod 26. So this is a very nice and easy way to find multiplicative inverses um, in modular arithmetic. And when we run this command, uh, we simply get number 21, which again, uh, if you go back to the original video uh, where I described uh, fine cipher and went through the example, we saw that 21 is actually the multiplicative inverse of uh, 21 is a multiplicative inverse of five. So. Uh, it's doing the right thing and now we need to use the decryption function which is this time a inverse times uh, the cipher text minus b uh, so that can be done easily again pt numbers is uh, going to be equal to so this is the list that uh, is going to hold the plain text in numbers in mod 26. Uh, just uh, to make our lives a little bit easier, I can actually uh, store this value in a variable, a inverse. I can draw everything's fine. So a inverse times i minus b this is our decryption function for i in ct numbers which is our cipher text in numbers and we can display these numbers so again uh, we get a set of values uh, and we are interested in these values mod 26 again uh, these two steps can be done very easily in, in one step but for the purposes of demonstration i'm going through them step by step so we're going to update our list by finding their values 
mod 26, which is done very easily in Python for i in this 9pt numbers again. And we are looking at uh, the val these values mod 26. And they correspond to 18, 12, 8, 11, and 4. And uh, we can uh, already see that uh, we, we are already uh, pretty much done because if you look at these two lists, uh, they are the same. So once we map them to English alphabet, we should get the word uh, smile back. But we are assuming that we don't have that prior knowledge. Uh, so that's why we had to go through this process and, uh, make, and make sure that the decryption uh, function is working correctly. So the last step, uh, we want to uh, map these values from mod 26 to English alphabet. Again, using our dictionary approach, English alphabet mapping reversed, where we uh, input a number in mod 26 and get back a value, uh, a character from English alphabet for i in pt numbers. So this should give our plain text back in a list. There you go. And we see the word smile. And again, just to make it look nicer, we can uh, join it. And uh, running this command will give us the word smile in a nicer uh, and more presentable way. And uh, there you go. We have uh, the word smile. Uh, that's the plain text that we initially started with. Uh, we use the encryption function uh, using the affine uh, method, affine cipher method, uh, to encrypt it. And uh, we got this cipher text here. And then we started from that cipher text, assuming that we didn't have that knowledge. How do we decrypt? Again, uh, we needed to find the multiplicative inverse of five in mod 26. We use a built-in function in Python for that. We use the decryption function. We translate uh, those numbers to English alphabet, and we got uh, our uh, plain text back, which was the word smile. I'm gonna post a link to a GitHub uh, repository where you can see the cleaned up version of this code. And with this, I hope you've learned something new and uh, learned how to uh, implement a fine cipher in Python. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, bye for now.